Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, you know, sorry for this particular view that you've got here. It's been such a great, I got a, a wild, wild day ahead of me. I have to be on the run. Just got back from Utah, spent the day, actually spent four days over there uh, working with members of my closing team. I think that I'd mentioned before, we've got uh, we're working on operational procedures within the, within the team to make sure we tighten everything up. So th since things have slowed down a bit in the market, not as much for us, which is kind of awesome. We were able to get the data with respect to uh, how it slowed down in the mortgage industry as a whole, which is 65% decline in the mortgage industry. But we, as uh, my team, we've seen a 26% decline, which is still you know, more than I ever want. But considering what's going on in the industry, considering what's going on with other companies, uh, you got layoffs, Redfin just did massive layoffs and getting rid of their high buying section, all these things going on. Uh, it's pretty dang encouraging. And now we're starting to see some pickup. We had uh, some good things happen with the CPI came out 7.7% uh, is what they're claiming inflation to be, which is very, very high. But considering where we were, that's pretty good. So it sounds like it's kind of getting in check. Um, I'm driving through a neighborhood here trying to pick somebody up uh, different than where I'm used to. So, and my map is not up on my phone because I'm talking to you. So ultimately, CPI getting a little bit better. It had a great reaction in the bonds yesterday. I can't pull the chart up, unfortunately. What that chart does, it shows, if you go back and look at my last one, I'll show you uh, the downward trend line we were, that was kind of like a pulling us at one point. I'll show the, the, the floor of support, the ceiling of resistance. It broke through that ceiling of resistance. There's a lot of, it could be just a lot of knee-jerk reaction trading to the benefit. It helped us. It was not a bad thing whatsoever. It helps us as far as on the, the rates are concerned, should help pricing. but Every time I've seen a massive knee jerk like that, it pulls back. So my thought right now is if you're in a position where you can lock, just like I've been saying, let's pull that lock trigger, let's get you covered, get you protected while we're in a better spot right now. Um, today being uh, a federal holiday, thank you all the those who have served and have uh, sacrificed for us, um, regardless of whatever the reason was that, uh, that we end up having to go to battle. I uh, just appreciate those who have taken that time and sacrificed yourself and that time of your life for, for our country. Um, that day, today being a federal holiday trading is not uh, not happening. So we should see rates substand, stay where they were yesterday afternoon. And then as far as uh, Monday, I don't know how it's gonna open up. I'm not 100% certain that it's going to maintain that higher position we've got now. Things tend to wanna pull back. And I can't say that it's gonna pull back. You know, the, We're not in a time now that I can say that what happened in the past uh, is going to happen here in the future. So my belief is take what you can get while you can get it. I'll keep preaching that. Stay away from the arms. Um, things could get, even, they could even get a little bit better as far as rates are concerned. And to go into an arm right now to me is absolutely foolish knowing that there's so much volatility, uh, but you do what makes you sleep well at night. And if you can put your head on the pillow at night and think, hey, everything's going to be awesome. Rates are going to get awesome. The housing market's going to get awesome. We're not going to have any problems in the future. And then you don't have to protect yourself. You don't have to get that one instrument that's going to make sure that you're safe no matter what. You can always refinance versus that one that just, you don't know if it's going to leave you flapping the breeze. You do what you got to do. So uh, that's my that's my bit of data for you today. I'll get back with you guys on Tuesday. Hopefully some chart data.